Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So don't mind my messy bed in the background. I am just getting ready because I'm about to leave the house. I am getting ready to go get my nails done. Um, I haven't been getting my nails done for a long time. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I bought like a gel polish kit thing off Amazon, which I still love, but I got my nails done um, with Bubble Bath by OPI. I love this color. I got it done right before we left for New Mexico. So it was two weeks ago today. And I just thought before I went back to work next week, I would just go ahead and get them done again. Um, usually what happens is I will get into doing my gel nails for a while, like going to the salon. And then I will take like a six month break, which is kind of what I did. Um, I haven't got them done since May of 2019. So it's been quite a while. It's been over six months. So yeah, I'm going to go get my nails done. And then I also was going to go into Target to check out their dollar spot for the Valentine's Day stuff. Because I was putting away my Christmas stuff yesterday and I was like taking everything off my coffee bar. And I literally have like hardly anything on it. So I wanted to get some little things just to put on there. Um, other than that, though, I'm not going to really get anything new decor-wise, um, just because we will be moving this year. So I don't want to, like, you know, buy a bunch of decor for a house that we're not even going to be in for very much longer. So, yeah, but um, I'm just chilling. Sherman's over here. I'm in my bathroom right now, and I'll show you him. I didn't make the bed because he just looked so cute. Every time we come upstairs, he always gets in the bed and then I can't make it anymore. Say hello, everybody. He had kind of a stressful trip to New Mexico. He wasn't really himself. Um, when we got to my brother's, he was fine. But then, like, the car rides down and the car ride back, he was super, super nervous. I felt really bad for him because he, like, has never acted like that before. He's always loved the car. But I feel like just because it was such a long ride, it was like a 17-hour drive, he was just getting restless, and he was really quiet and just slept the whole time. But um, I just felt like he wouldn't eat. He barely would drink water. He wasn't going poop. Um, he wasn't, like, eating his regular food. We had to buy him, like, wet dog food at, like, CVS <laughs> to get him to eat. Um, or we were just feeding him people food, to be honest with you. Just anything to get him to eat something. So, yeah, we're glad to be home. I literally haven't worn makeup since we were on the trip. And we got back on Monday, and it's Friday. So, I literally have not worn makeup for, like, five days. Um... But yeah, I know I've been a terrible, terrible, terrible YouTuber lately, <laughs> and I have really no excuse. I've just been not prioritizing it, so that is one of my goals for this year is to um, put more effort into my channel. So I'm vlogging today. I haven't vlogged in a long time. Um, you guys know my vlogs tend to be like a lot of talking and stuff like that, so if this is not your jam, then maybe go check out some of my other videos. But I just wanted to vlog today. Devin went back to work today. He was on leave for like two weeks for our trip uh, for Christmas, which was really, really nice. So he's back at work today. He works this weekend. Super fun. Um, and yeah, we're just hanging out. But I have just been up eating breakfast. I got up with Devin when he got up for work. And then I was just literally sitting on my phone watching TV doing nothing. Um, oh, I wanted to show you. I'm about to go do my devotional. Um... And I shared it on my Instagram, but I'll kind of take it downstairs and I'll show you guys a little bit more about it. I got it yesterday and I'm really excited. I want to do, um, make, I want to make more time for doing devotionals every morning. Um, especially when I get up for work just to like start my day because honestly it takes like 10 minutes max and it just puts me in a better mood. It starts off my day with Jesus and I can feel better like about the rest of my day. So I'm going to head downstairs and then I will show you guys my devotional that I got. Okay, it's actually 9.30. My appointment's at 10 and it's kind of a little bit of a drive. So I don't think I'm going to have time to do my devotional, but I wanted to share it with you guys. It's called A Little God Time and it's a devotional journal. I got this at Half Price Books. I know this is kind of hard for you to see because it's like reflective, um, but it was only $14.99. Um, which compared to some of the other ones I saw at Half Price Books, this was a little bit more affordable. I'm sure you could also find ones on Amazon. I saw some ones at Target, but I wanted one that I could write in. And the ones at Target weren't ones that you could write in. Um, it didn't have like little spaces for you to write. So I thought this one was so cute. Um, and inside it has like a title for every page. Let's see if this will focus a little bit better. 
It has a title for every page. I just flip to a random one and it has all this stuff that you read and then you can like write about the whole thing. So it gives a whole piece of paper to write on for every single day, which I think is nice and it's a full year devotional. So I really like that. I want to do them in the morning. Um, so I'm going to do this when I come back. Um, I'm kind of starting out already kind of failing but i'm gonna go get my nails done i'll probably pick up the camera after i get my nails done i think i'm gonna do like a light blue color i don't know i kind of was thinking like my apple watch band co color but i'm not really sure um honestly i probably will do bubble bath again because i know myself um but yeah sorry i'm rambling so so much i know you guys miss sherman he gets his hair cut next saturday he needs a haircut so bad um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to say, so I'll pick up the camera in a little bit. So, I'm in the car. I just finished getting my nails done. They look so, so good. I'm so happy. I wanted to cut them a little shorter, but he actually just filed them more round for me. And, oh my gosh, I'm, I love them. These are my natural nails. I just get gel manicures when I come. Um, it's been a while. My, na my natural nails grow pretty long. So, wow. And my ring looks so pretty in this light, too. I'm very happy, very happy. I go to Lux Nail Bar. They have a Fort Walton location and a Destin location. So, yeah, I'm really happy. And I think I'm going to go head over to Target. So, I just got home from Target. Honestly, I was going to vlog the dollar spot, the Valentine's Day dollar spot section at Target. But the one that's closest to me is not as good as the one that's out in Destin, which is a little bit further. I really didn't feel like driving out there today, so the dollar spot was very picked over, um, which I should have known, but I just thought I was gonna try anyways. But I also needed to get a few things because it's Devin's birthday on Wednesday, January 8th. So Devin, if you're watching this, don't watch this from this point on um, for like a minute or two because I'm gonna show what I got. I didn't get, I only got him one thing, but I got like a card and a bag and some tissue paper and stuff. Um, but his birthday is on Wednesday and actually uh, Sherman's birthday is on Monday on the 6th. So their birthday is only, their birthdays are only two days apart, which is super special. So Sherman's gonna be two and Devin is turning 22. So um, yeah, so I, Actually, this is not anything for Devin's birthday, but we were totally out of oatmeal. I had bought a, oh, I'm just going to do a little Target haul, by the way. I thought you guys might want to see what I got. I just got like a couple little things. So the first thing that I got was oatmeal because we had bought like a huge box of the maple brown sugar oatmeal from Quaker from Sam's Club. And it had like, I don't know, an insane amount of packets of oatmeal in there. But Devin used the last one today. So, um... I'm probably going to go to Sam's Club this weekend to go actually grocery shopping, but until then, Devin loves to have oatmeal for breakfast. He goes back and forth between his like Kodiak cake waffles and oatmeal, so um, I got this Better Oats 100 calorie maple and brown sugar instant oatmeal. I used to buy this one brand of oatmeal back in Ohio, and it, they sold it at Kroger, and I forget the brand, but... It was basically 100 calorie oatmeal like this and I, we really liked it. Um, and this wasn't that expensive. It was like $2.99 and you get 10 packets in here, which is pretty comparable to like the Quaker brand. So they're 100 calories and they have less than one gram of sugar. So that's really good. A lot of oatmeal is full of sugar. That's why I lately have been just making plain oats with my own stuff in there. I will put like peanut butter, um, cinnamon, maple syrup, fruit, whatever. That's what I have for breakfast today. So I got this mainly for Devin, but I'll try it too. So yeah, so I got that in case you guys were curious. And then, oh, I did get one thing from the dollar spot. So they didn't have a whole lot, but they did have this. And I think I'm going to use this on my coffee bar, which I'll show you guys what it looks like right now in a few minutes. But this was $3 and it was a little picture frame. And hopefully you guys can see that. It just says with all my heart. I thought that was pretty cute. It was $3. And I like these because you don't have to put anything in them. It already has like a cute little saying in there. There was one that said, I love us. And another one that said, home sweet home. But I just thought this was cute for like Valentine's Day. So I picked that up. And then when we were at um, Target the other day, Devin was looking for a phone case. And he ended up not getting one. He hates spending money on himself. So I like to buy things for him um when it comes time for like christmas or his birthday to buy him stuff that he wants for himself but he won't buy for himself so i got him a phone case this is the spec brand um we love the spec cases i love them because they are just as protective and nice as otter boxes but they're not as expensive so this one was 30 dollars, and it's just black 
and you can see it has like the little rubber things he likes um like skinnier not bulky cases so he ha was looking at a different one but i thought that he could try this one out and if he doesn't like it he can return it it's not gonna hurt my feelings but i just picked this up we're not big gift people um devin and i's like last love language for both of us is gifts so neither of us really care too much about gifts but i do like to get him something for his birthday there are two other things i wanted to get for him one i'm gonna pick up this weekend it's a book that he really wanted and another one is um something that i have to get at target but i'll have to get it in destin i think if i want to get it. i'm not sure if i'm gonna get it but i'm definitely gonna try to find the book um and just give him those little things just as something for his birthday and then i got some tissue paper which is really boring i honestly rather would like prefer to go to the dollar tree for stuff like this um but the dollar tree that i was closest to i don't like going in there because it's not very safe um so i don't like to go there but i would prefer to buy wrapping stuff at the dollar tree and cards because they're so cheap and I just hate to spend anything more than a dollar on this stuff. So I got this little bag, which is kind of lame looking, but um, it's, they all they had was like really girly looking things. And so this is just like a brown paper bag that has stripes on it. I thought it was just like a good size for what I'm gonna put in it. That's all I got at Target. Um, I know that was really long and I really didn't get that much, but Devin's about to be home for lunch in like 20 minutes. So um, I need to make us some lunch. I just got home from getting my eyebrows waxed and I thought I would share with you guys this really quick and easy dinner I'm gonna make. So in here I have some brown rice boiling, nothing fancy. And then over here I have a whole smoked turkey sausage and I cut that up. It's already cooked but I like to put it in the pan just to kind of warm it up and kind of like sear the, like both sides, you know what I mean? And then I diced up a yellow bell pepper and an orange bell pepper. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some avocado oil in a pan, put these peppers in there until they're a little bit soft, just for like a couple minutes. And then I'll throw in the, bell, uh, not the bell peppers, I'll throw in the sausage and I'll kind of just like mix it up. And then I wanted to see what vegetables I have. All I have are these mixed vegetables, the California style vegetables, and then some broccoli. So I think I'm gonna make this bag. I love the steamable bags of veggies. They're just so easy. And all I have to do is throw it in the microwave. So that's what, whoop, that's what I'm going to make for dinner. I get this Chosen Foods avocado oil from Walmart. It's like $10 for this big bottle, but it's lasted me forever. I'm just doing like a big drizzle of avocado oil in the pan. The reason I use avocado oil now is because Ooh. avocado oil has a higher smoking point so the nutrition isn't lost when you're heating it up so that's why i use that I'm trying to do this with one hand and it's a very difficult <laughs> and I'm just gonna push this around for a few minutes like I said and then once these are a little bit soft I will throw in the turkey sausage okay so hopefully you guys can hear me as you can see the bell peppers are kind of softened now and I also added a little bit of taco seasoning to them just because I felt like it and I'm going to attempt oh my god I'm already failing to put these <laughs> in the pan Whoa, I almost got that without dropping everything. This is harder than it seems. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now basically what I'm gonna do is just kind of push these around for maybe like five more minutes and then the rice is pretty much done and the vegetables are over in the sink. They are done as well. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all put together. Super easy. So this is what my dinner looks like. I actually cooked the bell peppers long enough to where they started to kind of caramelize, which is really yummy. And so I have my dinner, and then I also have two little containers of leftovers, which I love. Devin works this weekend, so these will be perfect for him. I put the veggies on the side, and I also sprinkled a little bit of extra taco seasoning on my other veggies that were steamed, just because they are plain. I don't always do that, but sometimes I just feel like it. Um, just so it kind of all goes together. But yeah, this is my dinner. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you guys wanna see more of my cooking videos. I know I haven't posted like recipe videos in a long time, 
but um, you guys know I love to cook. So I thought I would show you guys what my coffee bar looks like right now. I still need a couple more things for it, but this is where I put that little sign that I got today. And then over here, last year at Valentine's Day, I made these little things from the Dollar Tree. The little glitter hearts are from the Dollar Tree, the little plastic mason jars from the Dollar Tree, and then I just put tea light, like a tea light in there from Walmart. And I thought that looked cute. These little baskets are from Five Below, and it just has our coffee and tea stuff in it. So I need something for down here, so leave me suggestions. And then this is what the top looks like. I know it doesn't look like perfect, but this is a little dish towel from Christmas, actually, that I thought would look nice sitting out for Valentine's Day. And then this is what I keep our coffee in. It's just a little glass jar. I have this Relax. Ray Dunn mug that my little sister got me for Christmas. I think I want that to stay. I was looking for a Valentine's Day mug to sit out today, but I didn't find one that I liked. And then this, I'm gonna move. I don't really like how it looks here, so yeah. If you have any suggestions on what else to put here, let me know for like Valentine's Day. I just wanna get like one more little thing for here and then kind of move the salt and pepper thing and put maybe like a candle there, like a pink candle or something. I don't know. Hey guys, so it is a little after 7.30. Devin is going to be coming home from work soon, so I thought I would go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to try to vlog more on the weekends and on the days that I have off so that you guys can get more vlog content because I love vlogging. Those are probably my favorite videos to film. I just like showing my day-to-day -day normal life because those are kind of my favorite videos to watch. So let me know what you guys wanna see more of in 2020 down below from me on my channel. Hopefully um, I will get back to posting twice a week if I can, definitely once a week for sure, but I'm aiming for twice a week. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of boring, but that's just like my normal everyday life. And um, if I'm a little bit red right now, it's because I was just sweeping and vacuuming the floors. Um, you guys know I break out in hives when I get hot. We're just sitting here watching The Grinch, but I'm about to go upstairs and fold some laundry. I know, super exciting. And pretty much just wait for Devin to get home. It's Friday night, so I probably won't do much this weekend. Um, honestly, our trip to New Mexico like took all of my energy and the drive there and the drive back. It was so long. I don't know if I talked about that in this video. Um, I think I did a little bit about Sherman in the beginning, but yeah. It was super fun, but the drive just killed me. I never wanna drive 17 hours again. If I ever have to, like I don't want to if I don't have to. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. I always leave all of my social medias down below in the description box if you guys wanna follow me. I'm super active on my Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.